Attention Swifties, attention Taylor Swift fans. Taylor Swift is under attack from George Soros. It doesn't sound like something from The Onion, but it's true. We're gonna talk about that tonight on The Report from Tiger Mountain. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we're gonna talk Swifties of the world unite and take over. That's, uh, you know, I am actually a secret fan of Taylor Swift. I don't particularly like her music, but I like her. I just like her presence. She's a kind of white goddess on the world stage. I know she's a bit of a lefty on some things and she can be politically a, a bit of a pain in the ass, but maybe we've found out why. I couldn't believe this story when I found out about it. It was Taylor Swift speaks out against George Soros. And I was like, you gotta be kidding. You know what I mean? What the hell is she doing speaking out against George Soros? But you know, go and Google that and you'll find out the information. What has happened is um, that Taylor Swift has a back catalog uh, and that she changed record companies in 2018. And then obviously she's probably one of the wealthiest pop stars on the planet and she has lots of money and she offered to buy her back catalog. That way she owns her work, right? But it was sold to basically the Soros family and a few of their, um, what's it called? Um, you know, their apparatchiks or their, you know, sock puppets, right? And, you know, this is true. And, you know, mainstream media has, has, has um, uh, said this is true. Some have even sided with Taylor Swift saying, what the hell is George Soros doing buying um, Taylor Swift's back catalog? Now, you know, I know what he's doing. He's trying to blackmail her because you've got someone like Taylor Swift who's the biggest pop star on the planet and she's not a rock and roll person who's doing drugs. She's not, you know, going to Epstein Island. So how are they going to blackmail her? She's got more money. Can't offer her more money. She's uh, practically a billionaire already. So they can't give her more money. So what can they do? The only thing they can do is to buy up her black catalogue, right? And, you know, when she got political, she only got political in the last five years, that was around the time they bought it. So I think they're blackmailing her, ladies and gentlemen, to support the Democratic Party. Obviously, Taylor Swift's background is from country music. So as you well know, most country music people in America are right wing, there's Republicans. So, you know, I think um, they saw her as a threat. Her popularity with young women is unparalleled uh, on, on the world stage. And you've really just got to think about it like, you know, you've almost got to hand it to someone like George Soros or the Soros family for being that Machiavellian that they think, hang on, this woman is so powerful, we have to somehow control her. We can't control her financially, we can't give her more money, we can't, you know, she's not a sex pervert, she's not a drug addict, what are we going to do? You know what I mean? So, the, the only thing they thought to do was to buy her back catalogue. So, you know, what Taylor is doing in response is she's re-recording her entire back catalogue before 2018. It's called Taylor's Version. You might have seen this at the local JB Hi-Fi or record store. There's a new album of, say, 1989, a film, uh, an album she did about 10 years ago. Taylor's Version, Taylor's Version. That's a number one in, in the charts at the moment. Why is that? It's because of George Soros, ladies and gentlemen, because she wants to control her own work. You know, maybe one day she's going to get it back. And I think if she records her entire back catalogue, the Soros family might just give up and they might sell her back her, her back catalogue. But all this is some form of manipulation to control uh, basically someone who's a wholesome um, female pop singer who, you know, has um, half of America's young females in her thrall. Obviously, if she makes a political recommendation, that can have a real effect at the US election um, coming up in, um, you know, 2024. 20, uh, so there we are, that's what it's about. And it's hard, really, I mean, I, you know, it's the kind of story, I wouldn't believe it unless I'd gone and studied it online. And a lot of people, I was talking to Tim earlier, he didn't know anything about it, ladies and gentlemen. So there you go, go check it out. Uh, even Tim Wilms doesn't know about it. So the Soros versus Swift, drama it's there it's all there in black and white and even some globalist people are even siding with 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 swift in this and going what the hell is george soros doing buying up a back catalog so there it is ladies and gentlemen it's an issue i thought you should know about it so that's why we speak about it here on the report from tiger mountain thank you for listening